I'm going to show you how we treat a tile before we actually perform an application. And of course, just for safety's sake, I'm going to wear some protective gloves. We like these uh, nitrile powder-free gloves. And so I'm going to put this on just to protect my hand. This is the tile that we're going to test. I'm going to show you first of all the products that we have here that we potentially could use on this test. The first one is our primary core product called Stone Grip. It's the blue product here on the left. This is our mildest product and it's the product that we usually begin with when we test a tile just to make sure that we're not over treating the surface. Uh, if we need a little more power, we'll go to our industrial strength product which is yellow or our green product, which is our bathtub treatment, which can also be used on tiles under certain circumstances. And then our newest product that we've recently released, this clear product on the right, is designed specifically for concrete, but on occasion we'll use that on tiles as well. So I'm going to take this test tile right here. This is the tile that we're going to test. This will be a, a tile that will represent the tile on the surface that we're about to treat. Uh, if we're fortunate, we'll have a loose tile like this that we can test. Otherwise, I would find an unassuming spot in the room and I'd go over to the edge, as I say, behind the potted plant, someplace that's not going to be obvious. And there I would do what I'm about to show you. Now, I've divided this tile into four different sections. We're going to leave this top left section untreated so that we'll have a baseline to compare to. And I'm going to begin with uh, our stone grip product that we discussed a moment ago. I'm going to look at my watch. I'm going to determine that it is 10 minutes after 3. So this is the area that I'm going to treat with stone grip. You'll notice I poured a generous amount on the surface and I'm taking a little sponge brush here. And I'm going to move it around and agitate it just a little bit. What I'm trying to do here is make sure that I don't have the product gathering or, or uh, pooling in a high area, a low area. Make sure that the, the area is thoroughly covered. During treatment, you want to keep the surface wet at all times. Do not let the product dry on the floor. Just below it, I'll put some of our industrial strength product down. I'll go through the same process. Now, on an actual application, I'd be using some sort of deck brush. And later in the video, we'll show you exactly what equipment we would be using in an ap actual application. So that's the industrial strength. And I think I'm going to not test the uh, bathtub treatment. I think it's going to be a little too strong for this tile. But I am going to try the concrete treatment. This is a completely different product based on some different technology. And you may see it fizz a little bit when we put it down on the tile. In this case, it didn't fizz very much. Okay, it's been about three minutes since I put the product down. So I'm going to take a little baby shoe that I use to test for friction component. And I'm just going to test the four areas and see what kind of results I'm getting. Now, in order to have a baseline to test against, I'm going to put a little fresh water on the untreated tile. That'll give me an idea of how slick the tile is when it's untreated. And I can tell you that it's extremely slick. I wouldn't want to walk on this tile. Now, this is the area of the tile where I tested the blue product. And I just want to point out that my purpose in doing this test is to determine which is the appropriate product to use. If our mildest product worked in every case, there'd be no reason to have other products. So let's see what's happening here. With the blue product, I'm getting a little bit of increase in friction, but not sufficient for my uh, satisfaction. Let's test the, the yellow. This is the industrial strength. The yellow is getting pretty good. I'm getting some pretty good frac uh, traction off of it. Same is true with the concrete. So what I know at this point is that probably I'm going to need to use the industrial strength uh, product on this tile. We're going to let this sit here for another couple of minutes, and then I'm going to go rinse the tile. When I come back, we'll have uh, left the products down for about five minutes, rinse the tile, and then we'll come back and we'll check our results. 
Okay, I've rinsed the tile. Now I'm just going to put fresh water down in all the four quadrants. First thing I'm going to do is remind myself of what the baseline feels like. Extremely slick. The blue. I'm getting some traction there, but I might like to have a little more than that for this particular job. Let's try the industrial strength. Getting very good traction with the industrial strength, the yellow product. I'm getting even more traction with the concrete. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to let this tile dry. So I want to look at each of the four quadrants when the tile's dry. Just make sure I don't have any appearance change in the tile. Then we'll make a decision on which product to use. Okay, we took the tile into a room that's got a little different lighting. Uh, we also walked outside with it, but we didn't film that because what we're trying to do is just see if there's any appearance change on this tile. Now, if you're treating a floor that's already uh, obviously installed and you don't have a loose tile to work with, you can't do what we just did. That is, go to different rooms and check different lighting. But with this loose tile, we can. We noticed almost no, vi no, no visible change in appearance at all. Maybe a slight change here with the concrete, but uh, the, two, the blue and the uh, yellow product, the stone grip and the industrial strength, both uh, uh, provided an increase in traction with virtually no change in appearance. Uh, the choice for this project will be industrial strength yellow.